Welcome back to the number one source in black lights. In this video, we go in depth on how the movie Gone in 60 Seconds created their black light scene. So stay tuned. And if you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. Thank you. So in this movie, there's a scene where the cops are looking for a list of cars that the thieves want to steal. The cops say they use ink or magic markers that only show up under a black light. So if you have a whole lot of information that you don't want anyone to have. Like a shopping list of cars? There you go. Whoa! Yes! Yes! So how did they do that? They used invisible UV reactive paint. Yeah, I said invisible. Okay, so this is the invisible UV reactive paint and it's made by a company called Wildfire Lighting. And if you're interested about uh, this paint product, I'll leave a link down below in the description box so you can check it out. So this paint is pretty much invisible. As you can tell, when I'm painting it on here, you can't see anything. You can see the outline of the paint, but that's because this type of paint gives off a sheen look to it. Now, Wildfire Lighting does have a uh, product called a sheen leveler. So what you do is after you're done painting, you can let this dry and then you apply the sheen leveler all over the whole surface. And then it'll give one sheen look to it. So it basically makes the whole product, or I'm sorry, the whole paint uh, completely invisible. Now you don't need the sheen leveler. It's basically if you're close by, then you can actually see it, but if you're four or five feet away, 10 feet away, you're not gonna see what you're actually painting. It's completely invisible. Now what's cool about this is you can create what's called a dual image. Now, the first image would be this uh, kind of a rainbow type look, yellow, orange, pink, and then once you turn on your black light, then your, your UV reactive invisible paint will show up. So you can create a day to night scene where you have regular acrylics that don't react to UV light. So you have like a daylight scene where say like there's a sun and stuff like that. And then you turn into a nighttime scene uh, once you turn the black light on. So you'll have like, you know, nighttime lights and street lights and so on. I'm not an artist, but there's so many ideas you can create with this invisible clear paint. Also, when you use this paint, make sure you have a 365 nanometer black light. Um, for your best reaction, you'll need a 365 nanometer black light. A 400 nanometer or 390 nanometer black light, it'll work on certain colors like the white and the blue. But if you're going through like your green or your red or your yellow, it will not fluoresce at all. Don't worry about this uh, white uh, UV paint right here. It actually, when it dries, it'll be clear like in this area right here. But for some reason, the white comes out like this. I'm not entirely sure why. But once it dries, it'll be clear and invisible. You won't be able to see it at all. Okay, so this is with the 365 nanometer black light. You can see how vibrant the colors are. The green. Now, 
mind you, this is only one coat. So if you put more coats in, it'll get more vibrant and it'll fluoresce a lot better. Um, but you can see the green and the white. So here is the 390 400 nanometer black light. Can you tell the difference? You can see the white. Like I said, the white and the blue will work. It's not as good still, but it does work. But look at the top part of the green. You can't even see any of the green. So the 365 nanometer, the 390 400 nanometer. Doesn't work. So make sure you get a 365 nanometer black light when you use any type of invisible paint. Okay, so that's how Gone in 60 Seconds created their black light scene. I really did hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!